Welcome to the Dynon Channel, your video source for information, education, and training on Dynon Avionics industry leading line of integrated avionics for experimental amateur built and light sport aircraft. Today's topic Skyview System Introduction to the Autopilot. In today's video, I'm going to give a brief introduction to the Skyview System Integrated Autopilot. Now, in the Skyview System, unlike other autopilots, there is no separate control head for the autopilot. The, the autopilot control software is an integral part of the EFA system. And all autopilot controls are accessed through the EFIS menu system. Uh, you can see here on button 4 of the Skyview display is labeled autopilot. We'll see more of that menu in a minute. Uh, the only hardware necessary to implement the autopilot in Skyview are, is one or two servos for your pitch and roll axis. Uh, next I want to talk about the, the autopilot controls themselves. When I press the autopilot menu here, you can see a, a list of menu items. Uh, this is a fairly complex menu system. It's part of what we call the expert control scheme in autopilot. Uh, the autopilot has two control schemes, expert and simplified. Uh, the expert control scheme is primarily used by IFR pilots requiring uh, advanced autopilot features, separate control of the roll and pitch axis, things like vertical navigation and mode sequencing. Uh, VFR pilots typically, typically prefer a much simpler interface with the autopilot and you'll see exactly that in a moment. And the, it's up to the pilot to choose which menu scheme or, or control scheme they use for the autopilot and it's okay to change that in flight if your mission changes. First, I'm going to show how to select the control scheme for the autopilot. To do that, I'm going to first go back to the main menu in Skyview. Here we are. I press button 1 to get back. Now, to access the setup system, uh, you need to press and hold buttons 7 and 8. Here I've accessed the setup menu. Now, if we were on the ground, that setup menu would show all available setup options, including system configuration and such. But when Skyview detects that you're in flight, it knows that you typically only want to access a few specialized items in, in flight. And that's what we see here, an abbreviated menu. And notice the fourth item on this menu is labeled Autopilot. I need to move the highlight cursor down. I can do that by rotating the knob until I highlight Autopilot Setup. Then I click the knob joystick fashion to the right to choose that menu. Now we're looking at the Autopilot Setup menu here at the top. And notice the second line labeled Autopilot Controls, and to the right of that is the name of the control scheme currently in effect, in this case, Expert. I'm going to rotate the knob to highlight that second line, and I'm going to click the knob to the right, again, joystick fashion, and here I can choose, by ro rotating the knob, I can choose between the Expert and Simplified Control Scheme. With the Simplified Scheme highlighted, now I press button 8, which is labeled Accept, I make my selection, here it's affirmed there, and finally I press button 2 labeled exit to return to my normal primary flight display. So what we've done is just selected the simple, or rather the simplified control scheme for the autopilot. Next I want to show what that menu looks like and talk about basic capabilities of the autopilot using the simplified control scheme. So again, looking at the main menu in Skyview, button 4 is labeled autopilot. I'll press that now. And here you see a very simple menu. This is, again, is the simplified control scheme. It consists of two modes, track plus altitude. In that mode, the autopilot, if it were engaged, would simply follow the directional bug on the gyro, directional gyro, and it would follow an altitude bug set in this field above the altimeter. The second control mode is HSI plus alt. In this mode, the autopilot would hold altitude, but instead of following a bug, it would follow course guidance on the HSI needle. And of course, your HSI can be driven by either a GPS with an active flight plan, an active leg, or a, a VOR nav source, such as a VOR localizer, etc. You'll notice there's two additional buttons, level and 180 degrees. Those are special modes for special circumstances. I'll explain all of the functions of the autopilot in detail uh, in separate videos covering the simplified control scheme and the expert control scheme. But for now, that's a brief introduction of the autopilot. Uh, please look for future videos uh, covering the detailed operation of the autopilot.
For more information on planning or capabilities of the Skyview system, please see our website at dynonavionics.com, where you can find links to our system installation guides, pilot user guides, and other valuable information like our user form. Thank you for watching the Dynon channel.